Hello again everyone, this is Tim Buell for GottaBeMobile.com and I'm back today with another Mac video tutorial. Today's topic is how to use smart playlists in iTunes. Now the rules will actually apply on a PC as well. This is simply how to use this feature in iTunes on either computer that you're using. Now a smart playlist is essentially a search based playlist which is going to look for media based on parameters that you set. So you'll notice when you open iTunes for the first time there are actually a couple of smart playlists pre-installed for you including recently played, recently added, top 25, things like that. And if you open those up and you click edit playlist you can take a look at the rules and figure out how they work and sort of see how it's gathering that information for you. In order to create your own smart playlist, head up to the file menu and choose new smart playlist and a dialog box will appear allowing you to start creating your own rules for how your media is going to appear in this given playlist. For my search, I'm going to be choosing something based in the genre of metal and I'm also going to implement a rule for it to be pre the year 2000. Now, some of these search parameters may not work completely if all of your iTunes music is not from the store, or in other words, all the metadata is not completely filled out, including production year, composer, all those different items like that. So some of these rules may not apply and some may even be incorrect if some of those items were dated improperly. So in this case, we'll see if any of my music actually works for this. But essentially when you're done adding your rules, you can go ahead and click OK and see what the playlist conjures for you. So it looks like it was able to grab quite a few different songs from this genre and most of these do appear to be actually from the proper years that I designated. So it looks like that smart rule actually worked. You can go back in and edit the rules for any of these smart playlists at any point in time if you wanna change up the selections or limit the number of songs that are showing up but again all these do update live and you should see the changes immediately I mostly use smart playlists for things like full artist libraries for any given artist and those are pretty simple rules to set up but that way you can at least have live updated versions so anytime you update a new track for a given artist or a different type of genre that you've designated it should show up correctly in your smart playlist as long as those rules have been set up properly I think smart playlists are one of the most overlooked features of iTunes and it's something I think a lot of users would benefit from so I hope you found this helpful in setting up your own smart playlists and we will talk to you soon.